everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. I've got another styling video for you today and I am covering slouchy jeans. I feel like I wear these all the time, so if you watch my videos on Instagram regularly, you'll probably have seen a lot of different ways that I style these, but I think they're kind of one of those items that's a little bit Marmite and a little bit of a task to wear. So a lot of people ask, have asked, how can I style them? They don't look right. So I thought I'd kind of talk about my tips to wearing slouchy jeans in a way that um, is flattering because they are quite a balloon style shape. I personally love that and, and I do think they're very flattering. So I'll just show you kind of the tips and tricks that I use that I kind of style them in a way that looks flattering, if that makes sense. I'm kind of rambling. But um, I'm going to talk to you first about the jeans I've actually got. So they're all Zara, they're all the kind of same style. This pair I got last season, kind of late summer, so it's kind of the very first pair of slouchy jeans that I bought and I went for a size 10 and since then I've always gone down a size because these are a little bit too big. So I usually find myself belting these. They do a similar pair this season, if, they, if it's sold out or whatever, I'll find as similar as I can and link that in the description box. But yeah, always go to size down in Zara. I've not had slouchy jeans from other companies, but I would suggest going a size down in those as well. It still creates that balloon shape, but it's just better fitting around the waist, I find. So these are the light blue pair, which I think, to be honest, I've got my most wear out of, considering that they are slightly big for me, but belted, they're absolutely fine. And I've also got a dark denim pair, but I found I've not worn those quite as much. Um, so I've just focused on three different kinds here. So this is the first kind. The second is a recent purchase because I thought these would be so lovely for spring, summer. And it's this slightly off-white. It's like a almost cre yellowy, creamy colour, but kind of off-white nonetheless. And again, I got these in a size 8 this time. Went a size down. And even, even the size 8 is roomy-ish. So, you know, definitely go for that size down um, and yeah these are just so so comfortable they go with so much and with them being like a light colour really nice to work into your spring summer wardrobe and then finally are my dark pair so these again this pair is a size 8 too these are slouchy style they're exactly the same shape as others just feel like these are really nice these are nice for night time and just you can wear them with something lighter and it definitely brings it into spring so if you have got a dark pair and feel that you can't wear them now, hopefully I'll show you some ways that you can do that. So I've got on here a little rail of bits and bobs. I'm just gonna kind of experiment and play around and then talk to you about the outfit, why I'm wearing it and why I think it works. So let's cut to the video now. So outfit number one is this same blouse that I was just wearing in my intro. This is actually last season mango. But I've been seeing a lot of kind of linen style short sleeve shirts around, so I'll try and find it as similar as possible. I know I've got one from Arquette um, in black, so that would work really well. Um, and then I popped them with the light coloured jeans. I just think these colours complement each other so well. And then I've kind of tied it all together with tan accessories. So I've got my Loewe basket bag, which just goes really well with the lemony shade and the browns of the belt and my tan Zara sandals. The belt is also Zara, I'm not sure it's still in stock, but again, with everything, if it's not in stock, I'll find as similar as I can. But I think you can kind of make this outfit work with different styles of things in your wardrobe. So if you've got a short sleeve baggier shirt, then this can work well. So what I've done here, which I've been doing quite a lot lately, is just wrapping my shirts instead of buttoning them because sometimes they can look quite billowy and I feel like this really sort of tapers it in. So you just take one side, shove it in there, take the other side, shove it in there, and then because it's cinched with the belt, it feels like quite secure and quite in place. This is a really nice, easy spring, summer, daytime look. And I think don't be afraid to wear something slightly baggier on top because you can really cinch it in at the waist and balance those proportions. So this is my next outfit and I've just kind of gone for a, a more evening look with this. I've got my black Topshop shoes on, which are actually old now, um, but very wearable style. So I think I'll find what I can, but this style just sort of goes with everything. And then I've brought in the black, again with the accessories, but 
brought the black from the top to the bottom because I'm not sure, I think lighter shoes that kind of would match the trousers would throw the balance of the outfit a little bit off. So I've gone for this. I've not belted it this time. I don't think it necessarily always needs a belt, especially if you go for a smaller size. And then I've popped my Arquette cou couch pouch on with it um, just to kind of tie it all together. And I even think you could get a black blazer like this. And instead of wearing it on, so I don't think that would work with this style of outfit. I think that is too much and too big and baggy. So instead of wearing it like that, you can just wear it over the shoulders. And voila, let's get the bag again. And because it's over the shoulders, it doesn't feel as formal, restrictive, all baggy. You can see your arms, so it creates more of a silhouette and it just works a lot better, I think. So for this next outfit and for the light blue jeans, I wanted to kind of show how you can play around with proportions a little bit. So on the top, I have this Topshop racer vest, which obviously is always sold out. But again, I think loads of websites do them, so I'll find as similar as I can. I mean, they're all pretty much, much of a muchness. So yeah, I'll find an alternative. And then I've got my naked fashion slides on. So I've just, again, balanced out that black on the top with the black on the bottom, and then tied it all together with this belt. This actually came with a pair of trousers from Pixie Market, and I just took the belt off the trousers and made it into a belt. Any black belt will do. So what I'm gonna do, actually, is show you that you can wear quite an oversized jacket with this. So I'm going to pop this over the top like so. So that is my big oversized leather biker jacket from Zara and I think it works really well over this. Again, what I'm doing here is putting it over the shoulders just so you've got the silhouette underneath exposed and it doesn't look too um, baggy. I'm going to pop my new Pauline Paris bag with it. I absolutely love this style. I have it in burgundy. I'll show you close up. Have it in burgundy, but this is now the black version. But I just love how it kind of all ties together and all brings the black in in one. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap out this jacket just to show you how you can um, wear different jackets over the top again. So I popped my trench coat on the rail and until now I've obviously been wearing shorter jackets but this is a longer one and it is very oversized in itself but I think this actually really works well with the baggier style of jeans. So what I'm going to do instead of wearing the sandals I'm going to swap those for my Gucci loafers. This is a bit more of a cooler day look. Again I can pick up the bag and tie in the blacks again together. But this is how I'd wear it, probably a little bit more casually on a cooler day. Push the sleeves up and then you've got yourself a whole other outfit just by adding a different coat and pair of shoes to it. So you can actually wear baggy and baggy, but to balance out those proportions, I've put the tighter top on and the belt to cinch it in. And I think what's crucial about this outfit is that the ankles are exposed. I've actually rolled these trousers up a little bit. The ankles are exposed and that creates a more slimming silhouette um, because it kind of takes your eye to the slimmest part of your foot, even though the rest of the outfit is very, very baggy. And then for a slightly more evening look, I have popped on my black heels again, swapped the belt for something with a bit of gold on it so it ties in with the earrings. And then I've just popped this little puff sleeve top on from Zara. This was in my latest Zara haul, so you'll find it linked there as well and, so, and styled in different ways so you can kind of get a feel of how to wear it. Yeah, I, I love this with the blue. And I think, again, just tying it in all together with those blacks just works really well. And it's kind of a casual, simple, but comfy look. And then finally, we are onto the black slouchies. And I think this makes a really nice going out outfit. So I think bodysuits, as we did with the racer style top, that kind of tight silhouette with the high neck just really complements um, these kind of style of trousers because they're very flattering on the arms and then kind of that balances with these baggier, slouchy legs. 
leg area fits. But yeah, it's this, this is a bodysuit from Zara. Obviously, I'm sure you'll have seen them over and over again. They do different colors. Any kind of color would work with this, but I think the pop of orangey red works really nicely with this darker gray black and just makes it feel a little bit more summery. I've got the black sandals on with it and then I would pop this bag with it. So then what I would probably do is, or what you could do is another way to wear, I should say, is swap that for the sandals and then you can just pop on the leather jacket again and just a much more casual look that just still works really well. So then finally I've gone for this really casual striped t-shirt. Again, this was in my latest Zara haul and I've actually worn it so much. It's just a really cute, slightly cap sleeve casual t-shirt. I got this in a size medium. I wanted it a bit slouchier. And then same belt again and just with the sandals. And what I am going to put with it is this blazer from Arquette, just over the top, just to give it an extra layer of warmth. And I think even though it's not kind of white on white, I like the white and the cream and the black all together and definitely think this works well. And then I'm just gonna complete it with this poly bag. So that is kind of another way that you can wear these black slouchy jeans. And this is a slightly kind of more formal way with the blazer, but a nice polished daytime look. And then what you could do again with this look is swap the blazer for the trench coat. So this is it with the trench coat and I just think this works really well. Again, even though it's slouchy on slouchy, I think it just works, especially with it being a longer coat. I think the length of it, kind of, I feel like if it was like a mid length, it just wouldn't work as well, but because it's long and big and billowy on top of each other, I just think it works better. And then again, the key is you've got the ankle on show, so you can see that more flattering bit at the bottom and the waistline here. So yeah, that is my finished look and all the jeans styled in different ways. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And leave me a comment, let me know what you think and if you are buying a pair of these jeans or styling them, let me know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.